Welcome to this exciting series. I'm going to share with you a really powerful technique of taking Adobe Edge Animate from Adobe and incorporating a custom slideshow directly into Ultimatum or any WordPress theme for that matter. But of course, my favorite go-to theme is the Ultimate Theme Framework. So I'm going to share with you how to do this very simply inside of Adobe Edge. We're going to basically build this from scratch in Adobe Edge. Now keep in mind Adobe Edge writes all the JavaScript code necessary to create what I want to share with you. It'll be a dynamic slideshow. You basically click, goes to the next slide, clicks, goes to the next slide. I'm going to share, share with you a very simple way to go about doing this, letting the software do all the heavy lifting for you. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are at Adobe Edge. Now I am using from this point forward, this is now November 2013, so all the Adobe training I do is on Adobe Creative Cloud. If you don't have Creative Cloud, I highly suggest you invest into a tool set that's going to make you money and make you marketable. CS6 is nice, but it's old hat. Don't spend time on an old software. Alright, so the first thing we want to do, of course, is create ourselves a new file, file new. Now, for those of you that are new to Adobe Edge, I have a whole entire series on Adobe Edge slide creations and all kinds of interactive stuff in a full course, so I highly suggest you watch that course as well. All right, so here's what we want to do. I'm just going to save this in a, file, in a uh, folder. Now, what happens, you don't have to actually put things inside of a folder because this will create the folder for you. So I don't have to put a folder inside of a folder. So inside my root directory for my website, adobeworkflow.com, I'm simply going to call this with what this is. Let's just call this responsive web design slideshow uh, client version 1. Good app to get into version 1, version 2, version 3. Make a change, save a change. Now notice what Edge is going to do. Edge is going to make an HTML file and write all the code file for us and I'm going to make this really, really simple. So I save that. Now the first thing I want to do here, if you look over here it's going to basically create a ID class file and this can be a very ambiguous code. So we're basically going to call this what it is. We're going to call this client, uh, let's just call it, well spelling client can somehow, so let's call this client v1. Make a change, save a change. Now, our slideshow is going to be 1280 pixels wide by 320 pixels high. So let's go ahead and change that from here. So we're going to change that to 1280, tab key, 320. There's the size of our stage. Now, it's a good habit to get into title our document. Now, this is going to title it just like it titles it inside of Dreamweaver. Now, it's not necessary to actually title it per se, but it's a good habit to get into because we're going to take this raw code and put it into our ultimatum theme framework inside of that particular widget in that particular section of our page. So I'm just going to call this my slideshow. Spelling sometimes helps. Okay. Now, similar to other Adobe products, I'm on Macintosh. Command minus zooms out, Command minus plus zooms in. So the first thing we're going to need to do here, make a change, save a change, is go and import some slides. I'm going to go to File, Import, Command I, Macintosh, Control I for Windows. And I have a variety of different slides that I basically want to import here. And I'm going to select all four of these slides and I'm going to open them so it's up. Now what that's going to do, of course, these slides are exactly coincidentally the exact width and height of our particular stage. And that's what I wanted to get started. So here's what we need to do. I want to animate these slides across the stage using simple, simple point and click techniques. No hand coding. I simply want to animate this across the stage. Now what I will need to do here, a little bit of intuition, I'll have to work backwards, which means that this slide is basically the one that's in the back. So I want to work backwards. Now if you want to rearrange this, that's totally up to you. So if you want the first slide to go first, then just go ahead and move that. But I'm just going to keep this really simple. So watch this. This is how simple it is to create a slideshow. I'm going to select this slide and I'm going to hit the P key for pin, letter P for pin. Now what this does, similar to working in Flash or After Effects, this is about to create keyframes for us. So we're going to basically move the animation very quickly. So I basically want to go to half a second. So I'm going to say 0 0.5, half a second later. Now half a second later, what do I want to do? Well, this is really, really quite simple. Here's our property palette over on the left hand side here. So what I want to do is basically move this the width of the stage plus one pixel. So the width of the stage is 1280. So we're going to move that 1281 pixels to the right. So what that did, it took that slide and moved it off the stage. Now it did it behind everything else, so you really can't see what's happening. 
Now, in addition to that, I'm going to, in order to affect the slide, I need to select the slide. So I'm going to select the slide and I'm going to click right here. What this does, this does our animation process, basically called tweening. And I'm going to select the ease out and I'm going to just click uh, elastic and I'm going to hit OK. Now, what that does for us, if I want to test that, command return. Is right now you're just going to see this slide up here because I haven't animated the rest of the slides because it's covering it up. So what we need to do is go back into Edge Animate. So just so you understand here what's happening is that slider is in the background. Now here's the really cool fun part. Really, really simple. I'm going to turn my pin off. Letter P for pin. I'm going to select this and I'm going to copy that. Command C, Control C for Windows. Make sure your playback head is here at the end. So with the playback hit at the end, I copy this command C, I select the next slide, and paste. It's really that simple. Select the next slide, paste, select the next slide, and paste. Make a change, save a change. And now I've hit command return, I have my slide going across the page. Now if that's too fast or too quick for you, keep in mind that this is going to be dynamic. Now if in fact, I'm going to go back to, to Edge for a second. So let me share with you a technique here. If in fact you wanted this to be automatic, what I can do is I want to affect these slides, you need to select the slides, Command A selects all. I can now expand the time that it takes by dragging it out. So right now everything is taking two seconds. So if you have four slides and you want each one to be on a second, well as long as you didn't sleep through fourth grade math class, I can drag this out to four seconds. So now when I command return, it's basically going to play or a control return, 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. And there's our raw slideshow. But in the next video, I want to add some JavaScript to it. Ooh, scary stuff, scary stuff. I'm going to make this really enjoyable and really simple. We want to basically interact by clicking on this and going to the next slide. So stay tuned.